Hey everyone, it's Yasmin Whitland and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be giving a small update in regards to Mackenzie McKee from Teen Mom in regards to her entire uh, marriage uh, split with her husband, Josh. But before I get into that, actually, I just want to go ahead and tell everyone that I am okay. I am all right. And the reason why I say that is because I just did a recap on Team Mom OG season eight, episode 12 last night. And I got super emotional. If you all, if you all tuned in um, on my video on my main channel, if you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe. But once again, I got super emotional in regards to the entire Mackenzie McKee and her mom situation because her mom is has cancer and her mom is actually um, battling with that and Mackenzie just does not know when her mom is going to actually pass away or when is this illness going to take over and like I said in my video last night I can totally relate to that situation because my mother has type 2 diabetes and yes it's manageable but she always has these times to where she's hospitalized and I just get super scared because I don't want to lose her so Thank you all for all the love and support that you gave me. You guys are so amazing. It's just ridiculous. You guys like are literally my virtual friends because the way you all comforted me was just amazing. You guys are so sweet. You're so full of life. You're so full of sweetness. I definitely feel that, that warmth in my heart from everyone sending love, everyone sending prayers to me, my family, my mom. And Thank you so much. I wish I could just hug all of you and it just touches me in a different way. I'm trying not to tear up as I speak, but thank you all so much for just reaching out to me because, you know, opening up about something like that is super scary because you never know what the response is going to be like. But I got tons and tons of love. So thank you all so much for being so supportive. And I love each and every one of you all. Just know that I love each and every one of you all and it doesn't go unnoticed and if you say you all love me, I love you more. So thank you so much for being that rock and that support system for me last night. So so without further ado, let's get started. Mackenzie McKee actually took to one of her social media platforms. Now, she took to her Snapchat and she posted a picture of herself, of her hand without her ring. Whoa. Yes, everyone, Mackenzie McKee posted a Snapchat picture of herself driving in her vehicle without her wedding ring on. So here's a photo. And as you can see, Mackenzie McKee, she is not playing. She is not playing any games because if you like look closely at her hand, you can tell she has never really taken that wedding ring off. You can see how dry her skin is. You can see where the ring used to be, like the impression on her skin. You can see all that stuff like on her finger and you can tell she was definitely devoted to her family, definitely devoted to Josh and he is a total, he's a total like sleaze ball. I'm gonna just say that. I have a few choice words but I'm not gonna say those choice words. And so that is the picture everyone that she just recently posted maybe like a day or two ago, excuse me, on her Snapchat and I was just like, oh my goodness. So initially she was saying that they were just splitting. They were just splitting. They were just taking a break in their marriage. What if someone is taking a break in their marriage, do you all take your rings off? I mean, this this is to all the married couples out there who's taking a break. If you're willing to open up about that. I mean, I haven't been married. Um, so with that being said, I don't I don't know if that's what you do. I don't know what if they came to an agreement, like, hey, Josh, hey, Mackenzie, like, look, we're taking a break. You can take your ring off. Is she actually getting a divorce? Because. I don't know. I said it before. It wouldn't surprise me if she divorced him. I mean, he doesn't seem like he wants to be a husband. He, he doesn't seem like he wants to be a father. He sucks at being a support system in regards to her mom and her situation. And he just doesn't seem to be into her at all. He That's just wants her for her money. With that being said, if you're just taking a break from your marriage, why would you take your rings off? Like, I don't know. It's just super weird to me. So I don't know. Do you all think that she just took it off because of the break? Or do you think it's something more than a break? I mean, for you to actually take your ring off. And if you look at the caption of the photo, it says, I like this look better. So what does that mean, Mackenzie? Are you calling it quits? Are you actually getting a divorce? I mean, I support her regardless of the fact because she's just going through such a tough time, just going through marital issues and issues with losing your mom i mean i know i would be the pieces so with that being said everyone 
What do you all think about this situation? Do you think that this is definitely a divorce in the works? Do you think Mackenzie is just trying to, I don't know, I don't know, maybe just get back at Josh by saying, hey, my ring's off. Like, what do you think is going on in this entire situation? All right, everyone, that is the news. So make sure you comment your thoughts. Once again, thank you for all the love and support you all sent me. Virtual hugs to each and every one of you. Prayers to each and every one of you and your family if you all are going through anything. I will definitely have more videos to come soon and more live streams. Also, I definitely will be announcing the winner of my giveaway. As you all know, I am doing a Ipsy and Birchbox uh, giveaway each and every week. So at the end of the week, I would announce uh, the winner, the selected at random, the winner of the Ipsy bag or the Birchbox. So I will announce that, I believe, on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more news and more updates in regards to this entire Teen Mom situation and other viral news stories. So thank you all for tuning in. It's Jasmine Whitland, and until next time, see ya.